Draft mode was introduced with version 7 of Mid Journey, but what exactly is it and how do we use it effectively? Well, it's both a new way of prompting, but also a new way to interact with the bot and evolve your generations. This can actually get kind of confusing though, so I'm going to try and cover everything here. But I also hope this video gets to the Mid Journey team and like, maybe we can inspire some change? You'll see what I mean. Let's start simple. When draft mode is on, your images will be made within a handful of seconds. It's really wild to witness. You can select draft mode in your settings, or you can actually just type dash dash draft at the end of your prompt. And like, that's really cool. But this is where things can get confusing. You see, draft mode acts one way when you turn it on from your settings or your prompt like I just showed you. It's going to create your images fast, right? But if you press this draft mode button at the top of your create page, you will now enter a conversational interface. This is the biggest workflow change that is hard to wrap your head around. The first thing you'll notice is that mid journey might actually change your prompt once you hit enter, especially if you wrote something simple like a woman with blonde hair wearing a blue dress and yellow shoes. You're going to see how it expands on your prompt. Do you see how it added in a modern urban setting, vibrant colors, dynamic pose, contemporary art style? But the real magic to this new draft mode is how you can iterate on that idea. You can talk to the bot like a human because your prompt is now being run by a large language model. It's not going to reply back to you, but you can say, put her in a purple dress and it will adjust your prompt accordingly. This is really like vibe prompting now. You can say things like, what if she looked like she was from outer space? And legit, you can use your voice to speak to it. Can you keep her outfit the same colors but make her wear a space outfit? You can iterate on the image set really easily, but I should warn you, you're not necessarily editing those exact pictures with your new request. I'm sure you've noticed that already. It's gonna rewrite your prompt for you, and produce an entirely new set of pictures. Like if you had a cat and you wanted him specifically to wear a hat, well, no, but it will create you a new cat that is wearing a hat. I mean, you can go into the editor and put a hat on its head, but this video is about draft mode and no, you can't do that with just instructions. Now, here is another thing you'll need to know. You can't use the conversational draft mode on an image you've already made normally, even if that image itself was made in draft mode. Let me show you. So if we went into our settings and we made sure draft mode was on, and then we prompted for a woman with blonde hair wearing a blue dress and yellow shoes, you'll see that it was created in draft mode. But if we went up to draft mode here and clicked it on, and then we said, make her dress purple, please. It's just going to create an entirely new picture. A woman in a beautiful purple dress. Like it's not going to be iterating on that original draft mode image. So even though you started in draft mode, using draft mode up here after, won't let you change the prompt like I showed you before. You see how that can get kind of confusing? So you have to start your image in draft mode at the top if you want to then iterate on it easily. Like this needs to be selected first. Your first image needs to be made with this on. Like I could say make her dress yellow and it will change these pictures to yellow. I think. You don't have to add please after. I don't think that really matters. There you go. You see what I mean? it needed to be started with this, even though draft mode was on in your settings. Like, do you see why the naming convention they chose is so confusing? Shouldn't those two things have different names? Like, I don't think a feature should act differently depending on where you initiate it. Another thing you're going to want to know about is that parameters don't work in your draft mode prompts unless you have them selected in your settings before you turn on draft mode. Again, let me show you. So when draft mode is on at the top, we lose the ability to go into our settings. You might think that's fine. You can just type in the parameters in your prompt. Let's try that. I want to see a monkey on a skateboard, but I want chaos four and stylize 1000. I wrote that in my prompt, but as you can see here, there are no parameters. This is just version seven. So if we deselected draft mode, went into our settings, we can keep draft mode on, but then we can change our parameters up here. We'll change our variety chaos to five, and then we can turn on draft mode here, and that will run with our parameters. So you can't use them in a prompt, unless they're in your settings, but you can't get to your settings when draft mode is on. Again, that's kind of confusing and there has to be a better way, right? Calling it draft mode is fine if you're referring to the quick generations, cause that's intuitive. But for draft mode to also refer to the conversational interface, 
that doesn't let you add things like parameters? I mean, if it's going to act so different across similar use cases, then I don't think it should have the same name. I'm sorry I don't have a better suggestion, I just don't think it's healthy the way it is right now. Now, please let me cover three quick things that you need to know. Draft mode will always add stuff to your prompt unless you write a long prompt. Let's try a ladybug at the bar. It adds a whimsical setting, tiny bar stools, glassware, cozy atmosphere, soft lighting, playful mood. If we were to click on this and put it into the prompt and then hit enter, I don't think it will add anything more. Do you see? So there's like a certain point, a certain amount of words where it's going to add more to your prompt. And if you go above that threshold, it's just gonna take your prompt as you wrote it, like, that's kind of strange, kind of hard to understand, but I guess it is helpful that when you write short prompts, it's going to do some work for you. And if you want to break the chain of the draft, as in you don't want to iterate on ladybugs, you want something new, I think you need to refresh your page. Or you can just go in a completely different direction with your prompt, but maybe refreshing the page is easier. Like if I said a lion was at the bar, I think it would keep this sort of background, but change the ladybug for a lion. But if we were to refresh, turn on draft mode, a lion at the bar, and then it will give me this completely new look, a completely new assisted prompt. So refresh the page if you want to break the chain of the draft, or go in a completely different direction like I said, maybe we can try an underwater themed casino. I don't think this will have anything to do with what we just saw. Yeah, you see what I mean? Refresh or go in a different direction. And then if you want to make images quickly using draft mode without having the bot rewrite your prompt, you kind of saw me do this earlier, you can have it selected in your settings or you can type in dash dash draft in your prompt. But then, as we covered, you won't be able to talk to the bot conversationally. So let's just say standard mode was on and you wanted to see dancing penguins. You can type dash dash draft and it will quickly make your prompt as a draft. But again, you won't be able to interact with this conversationally. You got to know about that. Whoa, you see how it actually drafted off of my last conversational draft, the underwater themed casino? There you go. It's always going to go to the last of this draft mode, even if one of your prompts says draft in it. Again, kind of confusing, right? And now let's get to some of the downsides of draft mode. I mean, it all sounds great, right? You get your pictures really fast and you can iterate on them. Why wouldn't you want to use it? Like when you're just looking at the thumbnail pictures, in some cases, it's pretty hard to imagine what could be better. In others, like anatomy, you'll notice a lot of errors. That is because draft mode is actually generating at quality 0.25. The quality of the image is sacrificed for the speed, so they built in another new feature called Enhance. You can find this if you hover over the prompt on the Create page, or when you click on an image, you'll see it in the bottom right. If you don't see Enhance down here, make sure you click on More Options, and then More Actions then you'll see enhance. Of course, the layout of these buttons might change in the future, but you're looking for the enhance button. Now I have to warn you about enhance. It's not an upscale. It's not going to make those specific images better, even if you really like them. They're kind of lost in time. There is a caveat to this, but I'll get to that in a moment. First, let me explain enhance. Enhance is going to take your entire prompt and run it through the standard algorithm. This means running at a higher quality, and this should fix most of the errors you come across but the images will not be the same. Draft mode is about finding a prompt or an idea that you enjoy, then use Enhance to create the best possible version of that prompt. Not an improved take on any individual picture, but on the prompt as a whole. You see this picture of the woman with three legs, blonde hair, blue dress, yellow shoes? If we click Enhance, it's not going to make an enhanced version of this picture it's gonna run the prompt again. I'll put both of them up here. It's the same prompt running on a different algorithm, so you get different pictures. But I mentioned earlier there was a way to get around this. It's kind of annoying, so I don't know how many of you will actually do this, but if you really love a picture you made in draft mode, here's what you can do. Again, let's take this picture here. We're gonna click up here at the hamburger, that's what this icon is called, I believe. Then from here we want copy, seed. Now if we were to click on the prompt plus the aspect ratio and the version and then we typed dash dash seed then paste control V command V you'll see your seed number pop up. When you hit enter it's going to run this prompt on that seed number in the standard algorithm. And look what happens. Isn't that wild? Nearly every error is fixed. In this picture her legs are going the wrong way and in this one they're fine. She has three legs down here and normal up here. That's a big difference 
difference between draft mode and standard mode. As you can see, they're not identical, but that's as close as you're going to get if you find a picture you like in draft mode. You got to go in, copy the seed, then run it in the standard. If you want to stay up to date and learn about things as I learn them, you should really check out my community, the Future Tech Academy. I host it over on the school platform. Lots of good conversations going on. I'd love if you joined us. If not, that's fine. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.